welcome to the Aging YouTube channel. This week I'll be introducing you to Dr. Schmuckler Rees. He works with the University of Arkansas for Medical Science in Little Rock, Arkansas. Please enjoy. Hello, uh, I'm Robert Schmuckler Rees. This is my colleague Srinivas Ayurvara and um, uh, we have just had a paper published in Aging, Proteins that Accumulate with Age in Human Skeletal Muscle Aggregates contribute to declines in muscle mass and function in C. elegans. So um, the background to this is that we began uh, initially by looking at aggregates in uh, C. elegans, little worm models of neurodegenerative diseases, and we found that the aggregates had some really interesting components, some of which interfered with uh, protein degradation, and so that might help to contribute to the buildup of aggregates. Um, we uh, had a recent paper uh, late last year in Aging Cell in which we showed that um, Alzheimer's, uh, as opposed to age match controls, had far more aggregates and that those aggregates had a lot more oxidation and post-translational modifications, phosphorylation, acetylation, um, than, than the controls and that um, uh, some of these proteins were actually uh, quite good predictors of the severity of Alzheimer's. So it looks as though aggregates are important in neurodegenerative diseases, but uh, Srini and I also wanted to look at other tissues in case aggregation was a uh, general feature of aging, which it turns out it is. So uh, in, in mouse, you looked at uh, the heart, heart brain, brain, and skeletal muscle, muscle and, and kidney. And, kidney. and uh, the, they all had aggregates which shared many components, mm -hmm. indicating common processes involved. And um, in this study in aging, um, Rich Dennis uh, provided us with some biopsy samples from uh, five old and five young donors um, that uh, differed quite a lot in age. Uh, the, I think the young donors were in their mid-20s and the older donors were average about 60-something. Um, and there was a more than twofold difference in the amount of aggregate that Cerny saw and uh, it's, uh, we, we then did the proteomics on that and um, tested seven of the, actually nine, but seven that, that didn't have detrimental effects on development. Seven of those uh, uh, proteins, we knocked down the encoding gene uh, by a method that's really easy in CLAGANS and looked for effects. And the, the amazing thing is that the same six out of those seven tested um, reduced aggregates, improved muscle mass by quite a lot, um, uh, one and a half to two and a half fold, and improved motility, which is a functional assay for muscle right. in the worm. So um, uh, it, it really does look as though um, the age-dependent loss of muscle mass uh, is very much uh, dependent on uh, the formation of aggregates in, in the muscle. Right. And so either they reflect a common underlying process of uh, protein damage or the uh, aggregation actually causes the loss of muscle function in mass. Right. Even though uh, there were earlier studies which looked at uh, uh, dysfunction, which reported that there is a dysfunctional uh, proteasomal system, ubiquitin proteasomal system in autophagy, there was no systematic study done looking at uh, um, a protein aggregation contribution to muscle mass or muscle wasting due with age. And this is the first study that shows the relevance of protein aggregation. So far, there is uh, protein synthesis and degradation have been implicated in sarcopenia, the muscle loss with age, but this is the first study that uh, uh, shows evidence that uh, proteins that contribute to um, the aggregates are proteins that are components of the aggregates also influence muscle mass. And uh, yeah, and there can be good therapeutic targets for therapeutic interventions. Uh, right, so I, I mentioned that we tested seven and found six functionally implicated proteins in the aggregates, but we actually found 56 that increased in aggregates and 21 that decreased. So the ones that increase in aggregates um, if the same percentage holds for all of them, we've yet to test the, the, the remainder of them, but uh, there are 
47 candidates still left to test, which um, gives us a pretty rich uh, mine, gold mine of, of, of candidates to dig for. And, uh, and the, the, the limitation here was because, I mean, the ones that we tested are not the really highly significant ones. There are more highly significant ones. First of all, we in have, terms of their upper in terms, terms of their upper regulation or the uh, contribution, uh, the amount in the in the aggregates with age, but uh, you need to find the C elegans uh, homologue, and it should be represented in the uh, library that is available out there, or at least that we have. So based on those, um, we are still working on on right. the additional genes and their role in uh, muscle maintenance. And like uh, many other study, I mean, like the reported study that we have done on cardiac aging and during hypertension, there's pro increase in protein aggregation. The earlier reports showed that there is hardly 3% change in the proteome when you look at the whole proteome. But we were seeing close to 40-50% differential proteins identified as far as aggregate in the looked at, right? So suggesting that aggregation of proteins our proteins that are more susceptible for aggregation is could be part of the aging process, and and that again it 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 supports the idea of functional involvement because you'd expect to see uh, a, a higher percentage of aggregate proteins uh, in, involved in uh, changes with age if right. the aggregates themselves are causal. And we are planning on looking at interventions that improve muscle mass and see how they alter protein aggregation. That also ties up nicely right. uh, with uh, the role of protein aggregation as causal factor in uh, in improving muscle mass. So, how do we go forward with uh, interventions? Well, uh, in Cielagans, you you use uh, reverse genetics to knock down individual genes, but in many cases, some of these proteins will already have drugs that target them, right. and uh, others we can we can screen and, and uh, use in silico methods, uh, computer screening to to find drugs that will interact with those proteins. Yeah. So uh, we we have I think a lot of potential to intervene in uh, um, muscle uh, wasting with age. By clicking the link below, you can learn more about the research discussed in the interview from the cover paper of Volume 8, Issue 12. Thank you for watching.